What's up, y'all, and welcome back to The Ranch. The day has started, and there's dollars to be made. We've got humble beginnings here, but it's time to paint on this beautiful canvas. So, uh, dude, I've been going through it. There's so many things that we could do to make money and stuff. Obviously, chickens are kind of our first thing. We want to expand this. We want to get more chickens, more coops, start hatching them, start selling the eggs, that kind of thing. You are the key to this empire. Look at everything the sun touches. That's our kingdom, and it starts with you. So get it in, bro. We, we need you to, to get to work. So, uh, yeah, we've got the, the chickens, and then, of course, we can move to cows and pigs, which we've had before. We've got horses now. You can build stables and do, like, routine and stuff to increase their stats to be able to sell them it's crazy there's goats now there's bees there's full-on farming with like harvesters and heavy equipment and stuff which i'm excited to get into we're gonna have to make some money before we get there but i'm kind of thinking greenhouses might be a good place to start in terms of building it looks like it's just wooden planks and glass which we're gonna have to buy glass from the um the hardware store but yeah it's just wood planks we have a ton of that we can build some crop plots buy some seeds and maybe start getting some supplemental income coming in as we work on our chickens so that's my main goal for today is to try to build a greenhouse so we're gonna head into town here i want to take a look at how much glass is gonna cost us and maybe we could you know just have an easy way to make a little bit of money on the side and and you know, afford all the other equipment and stuff that we're eventually going to need so it looks like wood planks are 32 dollars for eight of those now those we can make ourselves glass is 100 bucks for 20. you need two glass for the door frame two for the wall one for the glass door one for the roof pieces three for the greenhouse roof there okay so yeah we'll, we'll probably need two bags of glass i don't know how big we're trying to go we'll, we'll start with one it's a hundred bucks that's pretty good i mean we could buy some plank i'm tempted to to buy some planks here i don't want to take down all the trees in our our farm so we're going to start with this and see how it goes i don't even know if we're going to be able to carry all that in our machine yeah we're not going to be able to carry all that are we really should have thought about this storage situation before committing but we'll we'll see we might be able to get something done here we could pick these up you could place them like that can we place other ones on top maybe no it's all right i think we've got enough to get us started here we could always go hunting if we need more money but i'm hoping we're on the way to a nice supplemental income here where we don't even have to think about it we can just let the plants grow and sell them as they mature i mean to be honest this looks like a pretty good spot for a greenhouse right here so let's see what we've got going on i guess start with the foundations the problem is i don't know how are we just going to do like a a two by two to start i mean that'd be a pretty big one i don't want to make it too close to the house in case we end up expanding the house at some point but we'll we'll go with like a little a little two by two that looks pretty solid we could put a door on this side of course we're gonna have walls all the way around the outside looking pretty good roof pieces we've got these guys we could place up top voila look at that masterpiece we do need some stairs though wood foundation stairs right up to the front door all right this is gonna be great i think it's gonna take a lot more wood than we're ready for but we're just gonna kind of hope for the best if we got to cut down some trees i'm sorry it is what it is. Yeah, dude, we're going to have uh, the stairs and two and a half foundations and we already ran out of wood. That's not the best news, but it's it's going to be fine. We can't put the, the glass in, I think. Oh, look at that. Our first wall is complete. We can't put this one in yet because we don't have the foundation underneath. You got to start from the bottom up. All right, we need more wood. I guess we're... We're going to be sawing some logs today. What we're going to do, I'm going to pick up our table saw. We're going to put this in the back of our little vehicle here. And we're going to drive far away. As far away as we can. I don't want all these little stumps and stuff out here. I guess we could probably hit this one since we already knocked it out. I kind of like that as an aesthetic vibe though. Let's drive far away from the ranch. I want to keep the uh, the trees that we have near us. And we'll, we'll cut down some others over in this area got a little mobile setup here that's what i'm talking about all right let's start chopping away it was kind of silly for us to pay 32 dollars for eight planks we can do this work ourselves you got to put the the time and the effort the sweat in sweat equity and we're gonna be just fine that's the thing about the youth these days with all their video games and everything else they don't know how to get dirty they don't know how to do it for themselves this ain't no amazon prime we ain't got no jeff bezos out here we we got a saw our logs and do everything the old-fashioned way the sun is setting on a beautiful day of deforestation and uh, we have plenty 
of planks to go around, baby. So let's try to pick up as much as we can. I think we're going to be able to maybe get five sets. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to take these back. Honestly, really sad we cut down all these around our, our ranch. I feel like I'm really going to regret that. If we could chop these, can we... Hold eat a chop tree. If okay, we can get rid of those, and that's that's not bad if we can dump the stumps. Took advantage of every piece of daylight that we could. We're gonna finish this build tomorrow, and uh I'll see y'all in the morning. 7.54 a.m. We got a foggy day ahead of us. We beat the sunrise, and uh, that's what I like to see. So let's start getting to work here. Things are really starting to come together. I think our biggest thing is going to be finishing off these foundations. From there, we can start putting glass in. Got a door here, and then we're going to have to work on these. So we, I think we might... Oh, we aren't going to have enough glass, because we're going to need glass for every roof piece. Yeah, we're going to have to go back into town. We need gas anyway for our... Uh, our cutter, but uh, yeah, we're, we're almost there. We should have it done by noon. Oh my goodness, dude, this is starting to look so good. Let's pack things up. We're gonna head into town, buy some more glass. We do have that one set of planks back at the hardware store as well, which is good. I love that our, our little jerry can can turn into an extended range gas tank, so we might as well stop by and get some gas. Oh, I think that might be on the other side of town. We'll see. We really, honestly, it would be in, in big benefit for us to get some vehicles that are a, a bit more a bit more easy to control a bit more efficient at, at things we don't really have enough space in this thing to be able to work with but right now i think we need to invest in things that are going to make us money and then we'll work on stuff that's going to make our life easier and we can actually drive without crashing into things all right got our our wood from the hardware store can't believe we paid what was it 38 dollars a set there when we could have just got it all ourselves yeah that was a mistake buy a little bit more glass as well we probably need to take care of the chickens too i feel like we haven't really done much with them i would imagine their grain is running low so i we might run out of money here but it's it's okay we're, we're gonna be just fine Hopefully we're going to survive this winter and things are going to get a lot easier on the other side. So let's, uh, let's grab this. We're going to throw this in the side here. Three dollars. All right. I guess we didn't need much there. I do know our jerry can is almost done. So we're going to throw this in the back of that as well. That needs about 80% fuel in that. This is going to cost us a bit more. Yeah. 30 bucks in fuel later. Thank you very much. Now it's time we head over to the general store. We're going to get some chicken feed. We're going to get some seeds, I guess. I think we're going to be finishing this greenhouse soon, so we might as well get what we're going to be planting. How you doing, Tammy? Good to see you. Just need to get some, uh, you know, norm normal things here. Bag of wheat. That's what we need for our chickens. We've got $82 left, so we're going to be cutting it a little bit close. Tomato seeds are 30 bucks. Cabbage seeds are 10, watermelon, pumpkin, strawberry, pineapple. I mean, I'm thinking tomato maybe isn't bad. I don't know how many we need. I'm going to buy one. Are we going to need like a watering can or anything? We have the, the bucket. I'm assuming we're going to be able to use the bucket. You can buy sprinklers. That might not be a bad idea. I don't know how it works. We can get fertilizer, agricultural medicine. Oh, shoot. So our plants can get in trouble. Uh, composters and sprinklers. I'm going to... I'm going to buy a sprinkler. Let's check how that works. Just kidding. We can't afford that. So we're, we're going to leave the sprinkler at home and we're, we're going to get the other stuff. We got got to hope this makes us some money. Otherwise, your boy's going to be hunting off screen a ton. It comes with 10 seeds and a bag of tomato seeds. So that's that's good. All right. We're in ship shape. I have no clue how long it's going to take to grow this stuff. Or ooh, I think this you can drill for oil in this game. I think that's a spot where we can drill for oil. We're going to have to keep that in mind. But um, I don't know how long it's going to take to grow or how long it's going to take for us to make some money. Back at the house here. Feeling good about that shopping trip. So let's uh, let's grab the glass. Let's put glass in everything we can. I'm going to put glass in every roof piece, every trellis. Hopefully we have enough. I think we should. Yeah, we're good to go. So we've got some extra glass left over. We've got these planks here. Those aren't going to take us the full distance, but we should get close. Hey, y'all got some food for you. Definitely don't want... Oh, we had some extra food already, but it's it's always good to have, have more. They were looking a little low. We're now back at 7 out of 7. We're at 6.2 out of 7 on water. Looks like we've got some... We need an ovoscope to tell which eggs we should pick up and which we shouldn't. I'm just going to leave those for now, but with the ovoscope, it'll, it'll tell you... Which ones have embryos and, and may hatch? Put our tomato seeds inside here. Gonna need you at a later date. And uh, I think we're gonna go back to our deforestation station and uh, 
Just keep cutting down trees. I have figured out a hack here. If you hit E to cut it down and then you hold E immediately, it just insta chops it up. You don't have to wait for it to come down. So we're getting more fishing out here. Your boy is looking like Paul Bunyan, just an absolute beast, cutting down trees with one swipe of the ax and then chopping them up with a second. Moving this saw out to the forest is the smartest thing I've done rather than bringing everything back to the house. Look at this, we've got more logs than we can shake a stick at. Probably leave a lot of these here. I think eventually we need to upgrade to the better saw. It'll be a lot faster, a lot more efficient on fuel. This one, it takes quite a bit of money to keep her running because she burns through fuel and she's just really slow. So I'm gonna cut enough of what we need. Eventually we're gonna need a lot more for the barn and everything else. We'll just leave the logs out here and come back to it at a later date. Get rid of these unsightly stumps. Don't want these taking up our view and making me sad at how we completely destroyed this ecosystem out here for our own personal benefit but hey that's human nature right got another full stack here that's what i'm talking about all right let's finish this greenhouse please make me some money i really don't want to go hunting for days let's let's hope for the best here so we're gonna put our roof pieces on now we got to build the stuff on the inside i mean this this is very nice large crop plot i mean uh, feel like go big or go home should we just start putting these Kind of like this. 18 wood planks for one large crop plot, dude. Are you kidding me? We could build a whole house for that amount of wood. Now we've got we've got one. So let me grab our uh, we'll grab our tomatoes. We can plant the seed. Press E to water. Do we want to water them up to 100 percent Yeah, looks good. So we've got water. We've got I think the second one is I have no idea. One of them's growth. I'm I'm thinking the third one down is growth, and then obviously. I don't know. It looks like we've got growth. The growth is going up. We're already at two out of a hundred. So, I mean, that's not terrible. I'm going to go back. We're going to cut some more wood. And uh, I guess eventually if we could have like eight large crop plots there, and have a bunch of plants growing all at the same time, that's, you know, best case scenario might start to get a return on our investment. But right now it's looking pretty slow. Update. It looks like these guys are water hogs. We're at about 27%. We've used 80% of the water. So we're going to have to keep the water stocked, but they are growing pretty quickly here. So let's just to make sure we're, we're keeping them watered up. I've finished the second one here and we've got actually a, a decent start to some of our materials i've got a, a lot of wood that i've cut just while we're waiting here so um wanted to wait to plant too many until we really understand how this works i don't want to waste our time but it looks like things are going well whoa look at these all right we've got tomatoes so we can harvest oh i've got a little vine of tomatoes um, <laughs> okay you can harvest multiple times from the same plant. Can we grab like a, a basket? Is there a, an option for us to maybe be a little bit more efficient with this? Should I put these in the, the back of the vehicle or what? Are we gonna be able to sell these? I certainly hope so. I can't really access, oh no. Oh, this is a problem. I put them too close together and I can't access the back one. Oh, oh wait, wait. Okay, there we go. You gotta be right at the, the perfect angle. So that's something to keep in mind. I think we might've been trying to fit too many uh, little harvest things in one area, but uh, all right, I'm gonna move these planks. We're gonna take these into town I think the general store might be about to close. We'll see if we can make it on time But uh, I'd be really interested to see what these sell for There's got to be some sort of a basket or something dude Just having to pick up one little clump of tomatoes a piece that is not the most efficient way of doing things here By the way y'all give me any chicks yet. I feel like we've got a whole lot of eggs and no chicks I don't know what's going on, but we need to fix that. Also. Why does it is that it almost looks like there's Are those two chickens what happened to our rooster we had a rooster and a chicken before right? I'm pretty sure so unless that's a second chicken that grew up and and skipped the chick phase I don't know how that happened, but Might be a miracle here on the uh the ranch. I tell you what, another miracle would be us making money. Hopefully we have what we need here. Just flying over to the, the country store before she closes for the evening. Let's see if our girl wants to buy anything. By the way, I think her name is Ma Mala. Mala's Bistro. Mala, how you doing, Mala? Good to see you. $48. Grape seeds are 70 bucks, almost two and a half times what tomato seeds cost. So I'm gonna buy that. I'm also gonna buy a sprinkler. There's an egg basket. I don't see any other basket or option for us to, to be able to carry multiple 
fruits or veggies. Well, this is this is a bit of a problem here. It, we would decided to go get some gas and it got dark, so I don't really know where I'm going and I'm a little bit freaked out to be out here in the woods because I know there's bears and stuff, but I think, is our farm in front of us? No, uh, ranch is off to the right. We're going the wrong way, so. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. We're, we're gonna try to plant some grapes. I mean, honestly, 48 bucks really isn't bad. It's pretty hands-on currently with like bringing water to it every four hours or so. You gotta bring water to it like three or four times a day, so. If we had that sprinkler, it might make things a bit better. A brand new day with the sun coming up over the mountain, peeking its way into the valley. Gotta love, dude, this game is so beautiful. I'm, I'm excited about where we're going with this. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like the, the 48 bucks isn't great. Don't let me fool you. But with time, as we had more of them and we figure it out, and like with this sprinkler, I think it could really help. I'm actually, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna remove this tomato plants. Let's just remove both of these, to be honest. And then I'm going to try, if we put this here, how do you put a sprinkler? How do you, how do you use a sprinkler? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. So you put it there, hold E to start watering. No windmill in the rate. We're going to have to build a windmill. Okay, that makes sense. So if we have a windmill that's going to pull water up from the ground, that's going to make it work naturally, I guess. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, we've got these grape seeds. I'm going to plant these and we'll see how this goes. Obviously going to take a bit more time, but I think they might make a bit more money. We could start our own winery if we really wanted to. So yeah, that's a start. Very excited about the greenhouse. The idea of, of being able to, you know, make money without thinking about it is great. We do have to figure out what's going on with these chickens though. I don't know. We're starting our egg empire in the next episode. We've at least got a little bit of money coming in here. I'm going to do some grinding off screen. Honestly, we're just going to go shoot a bunch of deer, sell a bunch of meat. We're going to get a nice little base layer of money to be able to work with. And I think next episode, we're going to build a bunch of chicken coops and stuff and hopefully it goes well for us. So I'll see you guys there. Very excited about this. I mean, look at this. We built the greenhouse today. Day. That's pretty epic. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.